Hello everyone, welcome to AWS Guru.Academy YouTube channel. AWS recently announced that fully managed and serverless DeepSeq R1 model is now available on AWS Bedrock service. Since January 2025, AWS customers were able to deploy DeepSeq models using Bedrock custom model import feature or through Bedrock Marketplace. We have released a detailed tutorial on how to deploy DeepSeq in AWS using these two methods. You can find the link to the video in the description for your reference. However, release of fully managed DeepSeq R1 model eliminates the need of server scaling, monitoring, and maintenance by customers. Considering that this is a fully managed model, you can leverage the power of the DeepSeq R1 model's reasoning capabilities through a single API called Converse API in Amazon Bedrock service. Additionally, Invoke model is also one of the API that is supported for this model. This fully managed model enables you to focus on building robust AI applications while not spending resources on managing complex infrastructure hosting and scaling. When you invoke the model, depending on the complexity of the task, AWS manages servers and endpoints in the background seamlessly without requiring any input from customers. You can use Amazon Bedrock guardrails to protect prompts and output from the model. As this is a fully managed model, you get everything that comes with the Bedrock service like enterprise grade security, monitoring, cost control mechanisms, and etc. All your data remains private for your own use and AWS will not share your data with any other users or even with the model providers. Log into your AWS console and search for AWS Bedrock Service. Here, from the left side panel, select Model Catalog and filter for DeepSeq models. Select DeepSeq R1 model serverless specifically. On this page, you can get additional information about the model itself, the details about the specific version of this, the maximum tokens allowed for this particular model, the deployment type, and the usage for API request example. Here, you can see that I have already access for this particular model. However, if you are trying to use this model first time, you will not have access to this model. To receive the access, click on this three dotted line and click on modify access. Once you are on this page, search for the DeepSeq model and follow the process to actually request the access. Before submitting the request, AWS will ask you to read through the terms and conditions along with the pricing before going forward and submitting the request. Let's look at the pricing for using AWS managed DeepSeq R1 model before moving forward. On AWS Bedrock pricing page, you can see that for DeepSeq specifically, the pricing are same across all three regions where this model is available. And the pricing is based on per 1000 input tokens or similarly for output tokens. Make sure you understand this according to your use cases before you get started with the process. Once you get access granted message on the DeepSeq R1 model, you can come on this page and click on open in playground. Here, we will ask this model a specific question to analyze and understand how the model thinks. I am asking the model this following question. Here, we are asking create optimized route for Amazon delivery driver. Amazon driver must visit all of these locations in sequence with the distance. So here we have provided the distance between each points, A to B, A to C, and so forth. 
and we are asking the AI model to help us find the optimized route with the minimum total distance. Once you type the question in, I'm asking model to actually look for the answers for me. If you scroll down over here, you will see the reasoning, which means model is right now thinking. You can read through each of this as model is thinking through the question. Remember, AI model is going to look at many different possibilities before giving you the final answer. As you can see on this one, it is identifying the many different possible options first and then calculating the distance for each possible options. Based on that, it gives us the final answer. And the answer is that we have two possible routes, A to B, C, D, and then going back to A, or it starts at A, D, C, B, and then going back to A. Both of these routes are going to give us 39 miles. So this is the final answer. If you don't want to look at all of this reasoning information and just want to look at the final answer, you can just simply minimize this option and it will show you the final explanation and the results. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Happy cloud computing.